Yo, what is up, guys? Connor Vlog 64, uh, along with my good old buddy. Yes, I'm Joey. I don't have a YouTube. After this, we're gonna make a well, it's corn YouTube. Yes, we are, and we are here with the second installment of Cooking with Corn and Joey. So, season one, episode two. Yes. Fire battles, not fire battles. What do we call it? The Great Outdoors. Season. Season one, episode two of The Great Outdoors. Yes, and we're going to be making some s'mores. Uh, we just finished, well, we just finished, like, making, like, I think... Hey, ha with corn here again with my buddy Corn. Um, we are starting with the um, new YouTube video of Cooking with Corn, the season one, episode two premiere of yeah. Cooking with Corn. Stop talking here. Okay, so Joey's recording right now. Um, he's going to leave it there. Um, so, funny trivia about Joey. Um... If you go back to a couple youth group vlogs from 2015, he makes a couple appearances. He wasn't in youth group at the time. He was very young. But uh, just keep your eye out for the name Joey, and you'll see him. Indeed. And I, pro and I had hair back then, so I might look a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, he had hair back then. I had, ha well, I had hair back then, too. It just looked uh, you better. You have hair. Yes, I know. No, had. I'm not the... Right, I'm I'm Bigger, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna smaller. I'm not. I'm not the young crackhead I once very, was. Very, very, very thin stuff, and you build that on top of the cardboard, because that'll catch real quick on the cardboard. And the cardboard will build to the top, tippity top top. So this must be fresh because it's not ripping very good. All right, so we're gonna build smaller sticks first. <laughs> And you make your way to bigger sticks. If you are, were a Cub Scout, you're probably thinking like, this is stupid, this is very basic common sense, but yeah. But if you weren't a Cub Scout, not many people know this, they would just start throwing stuff on a fire pit and calling it a, <laughs> a fire. <laughs> that's, what, that's what most people are And that's do. not what it really is. A fire Learn is everything be, from a Joey. Fire is meant to be powerful, and if you build it correctly, it will be. Yes, learn everything from the wise guy, Joey. I don't have a ton of sticks. That's why it looks the way it does. It looks very bare, but that's because I don't really have much to do with. So I'm gonna get this lit here. Watch and learn, everybody. You light it, You wanna light it in different spots so that it catches everywhere. I try to light like four corners, maybe. It's not always easy to light cardboard first. Usually I like to try paper first. And there's a napkin over there on the ground I might try to burn first. So, see, you use old napkins and you don't really have to buy paper or any crap or anything. So. Oh, cardboard burns right away. And I like to start off different spots so the fire stays centered. And I have a nice wind, res wind resistant striker here it strikes everything right on that's cool so if you there's joey's it, there's joey's video how long have you been recording for why are you videoing the video it's been longer because i did the intro on a separate video so i had to switch it around mm -hmm. and one episode two of the um s'mores battles and stuff there's joey's dad Joey's dad. Actually, an another another funny um, trivia um, thing about um, Look, that water bottle's burning. It's not even melting. It's like burning. Yeah, no. But another funny trivia fact about my youth group vlogs back in 2015 is even his brother made an appearance. Because he used to go to youth group there. Yeah, me and his brother were in youth group together. He never like made a formal appearance, but he's also made some cameos playing like b the ball game and stuff like that. If you guys have been ball fans, game. if you guys have been fans. For more than five years, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, for the five-year mark of 2015 and 2020, Claude. Yes. 2020's been very, very chaotic because of the um, coronavirus and the now the riots. And the World War. We almost started a um, uh, what's a um, mini golf ride today. There might <laughs> almost was a mini golf ride today. <laughs> At Nice Mini Golf. It's in a place that you. No, that it, it was. It's near McKee's Rocks. It's across the river. There you go, that's your fire. Some of the pieces on the end have um, tipped over. Not my fault. Don't there, blame there's me. the neighbor's kids. <laughs> yeah, they're crazy. Chaotic. Chaotic-y. 
You have a nice yard, by the way. I didn't even notice that. Thank your, you. Your yard is... <gasps> Close pins. I was going to take this in the mall today and do the Impractical Jokers Challenge, but you know. Oh, uh, we should have. St I forgot. No. <laughs> I forgot. That's what stuff happened. Yeah, we went to the mall today and we were like going in practical joker style. Oh my gosh. We rode all the escalators at least once. And we, we tried Literally, to. There was no escalator that went on road. And we tried to avoid Karen at, at Macy's. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like our Larry. We, we, we walked on the hall. Karen! I screamed, Karen! Where are you, Karen? Oh, there she is. Right, she she was like staring at us while we were screaming, Karen. Yeah, she was. She was staring um, at us. We don't know if her name was Karen, but we just kind of assumed. Yeah, that was, that was this worker that was been following us creepily. creepily. Yeah, she was literally following she us. She across our corner. She was like 90. <laughs> she was. She was not 90, but she was definitely close. This piece is just standing up freely. Let's kick it over. It might, it might burn now. Oh, a stick's falling off. It's burning. Nice. Here with um, cooking with corn. I just took up more cardboard in there because we have that whole box over there full of stuff. And I threw in a bottle that was halfway full of water out here that someone left from our picnic over the weekend, my brother's graduation. So, um, that one's fire in it. <laughs> so. Um, this cooking with corn stuff is, like, amazing. It's more of a comedy. I mean, we also teach people how to cook, but it's more of a comedy. The newest True TV TV show. Yes, who needs the Poo Wars or whatever it's called? Oh, the Dirty Works. Dirty Works. I don't even know. Who needs the Practical Jokers when you got cooking with corn? I'm yes, kidding. of I course. Do. I do. I need a practical joker. Yes. Cooking with corn isn't enough. I need both. Also, you can also notice it's darker because we took like a 15 minute break. Yes. Well, we were um, not completely 15, but a few minutes because we were inside um, fixing up our other stuff. There's some small sticks in here. Just put the whole box. Well, that's a piece of paper. Holy crap. Ready? Three, two, one. Don't try this at home. Let's get this bread. I'm kidding, I'm at home, so try it at home if you want to. Ugh. Well, okay, that didn't work. I feel like if I get too close to the fire, I'm gonna like singe my hair off. That's fine, because bald people look beautiful, but- Bald people look beautiful, but- Also. Yeah, I just put some other extra cardboard paper on top that we had. How do you like it, bud? Get rid of crap. It's good. Hey, get, hey, dude, guess what? What? He just farted. Good way, to, good job keeping it away from the fire, because that would smell for days. Oh fire. yeah, oh, I should have put it in the fire. Can I pee in the fire? <laughs> Can I pee in the fire? Can no ash is flying everywhere, so. Yes, well, I mean, burning through the box. it's a fire, Joey. <laughs> yeah. But if I wanted to put the paper on top, it would have done that. We're bucking with corn, um, this time with dessert, um, s'mores. We got, all you need is regular marshmallows, you got the chocolate, and you got the graham crackers. Simple, if you don't know what those s'mores are, you obviously aren't alive, and you probably should think about um, getting some counseling. My dad is also a counselor, and he's available if you need counseling. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna sit down in this um, very nice Adirondack red chair here. And Connor's gonna sit next to me. Move your chair. Right, right over here? Maybe, I'll just sit over this one. Okay, so we're also, oh, put it back. My dad always gets his completely burned in the charcoal and all that kind of crap. My mom likes her golden brown. So I like mine charcoal. And I'll eat whatever the heck you give me. As mm -hmm. long as it's cooked. Because with corn. sometimes people will give me a marshmallow that's barely cooked and I'm like, what's your sorry excuse for this? Exactly, that's that's what I'm saying, bro. So this is a mega s'more I'm about to make. I usually use for mega s'more two to three marshmallows because these are regular size marshmallows. They also make campfire marshmallows if you're in the mood for um, a gigantic marshmallow. So, we got that. And then in this cam cracker bag, I, I held the chocolate. We will be using chocolate. Um, the, Okay, so normally I... <laughs> Everything's falling. Normally I use um one row of three, but the video I saw on, on this more Saturday on um, um the TV, used two rows. I used two rows, and I'm going to use either two or four marshmallows. We can't completely decide yet. So now I'm going to send them in the burn. That's the way I like them. You pick, make them however you What, want. you mean like ash? Well... I meant like them be burned a little fire. Well, actually, they actually put themselves out. I don't know what doesn't happen. I think those look good. Don't you think? Yeah, I think so. I'm put them in for a little bit more. So we're going to put two on one marshmallow. The other two can be for a corn. Wait, do you have a different shirt on? Me? Yeah, from like earlier. Well, yeah, because mom, my mom didn't want me to get my new shirt dirty. I didn't even notice. Well, they're both black, so it's hard to notice. Racist. It's not racist. It's <laughs> not a shirt. 
If you think that's racist, you got a problem with that. Well, and then, I'm a white guy, so if I wear black clothes, I support <laughs> black men. <laughs> All people are equal. You're right, but that's the weirdest sentence I've ever heard. I was forgetting about the chocolate. I'm getting there, dude. I didn't want it to fall off my stick. <laughs> You would yell at the sun. Sorry, I'm just singing a song from the TV show Victorious on from Nickelodeon. Oh, it's he's on obsessed with that show. Netflix. I'm not obsessed. <laughs> I just every time I'm in the car with him, he plays the theme song. That well, Blues Clues and iCarly. And Drake and Josh now, because Drake and Josh is just it, the theme song is so catchy. Do you need help? Even though you were born in Iraq, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was not. You sure about that? No. I was actually born in Kuwait. I could have sworn you were born in Iraq. No, I was Kuwait. You sure you weren't born in Yoruba? What? <laughs> I'm kidding. That's Dan Schneider's um, fictional country, Yoruba. And all his shows, when he has a um, country, sometimes they mention the country Yoruba. That he's, it's a fictional country you that mean, Dan Schneider created in the show. You shows. mean Footland? Oh, yeah. Dan Schneider's also a foot fetish. And did you know that he's also a babysitting fetish? <laughs> all of his shows have babysitting in them. He's not a, and foot jokes and, and creepy oud foot stuff. I don't. So Dan Schneider is a foot fetish and is a um babysitting fetish. Is there chocolate on it? Oh yes. yeah. Well, okay. Okay, we're gonna enjoy our cooking with corn s'mores. Yes. I cooked with corn. Yes, of course. Good s'more. If you guys were wondering what the cooking with was, I am cooking with. I am the guy who's with corn. Yes. In case you're dumb enough to not know what that means. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, you want to do it? Yeah. Count me in. All right. You're, you're good. Okay. All right. This is the fi final. This has been the season one, episode two of Cooking with Corn, Fire Pit S'mores edition. It's been great having you guys. Hope you will check out our season two, episode three, which will be coming at you. I mean, season in one, the episode morning. three. Brex you said season two. <laughs> it's all right. It's, it's all right. Season one, episode three. That'll go in the blooper video. Sorry. We're starting with season one, episode three, tomorrow morning with breakfast battles. We're going to see who can make the best scrambled eggs. Me and Connor face to face against each other, not like together making one good thing. We're going to make two amazing dishes and have our parents try them. Well, my parents try them and see which one's better. We're not going to tell them who's whose, but we're going to ask them which one's better. Makes all right. Sense. This has been. Me, Joey Ballinger, and then behind you, you turn on, turn the camera. Corner Vlog 64, Connor, aka Connor, Connor, Connor McGee. Connor McGee, who goes by corn, and this has been Cooking with Corn. Thank you. All peace right, out. peace out, brothers. Eating us, but it is only until now that we have realized the sick acts that Nickelodeon has been performing through the years. All by the perverted and sick ideas of a man going by the name Dan Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.